My name is Pam and I'm from DMP Celebrations and today we are making upcycled tassels. So here we go, big tassel making. I'm using just a standard plastic shopping bag. Mine is from Target. We are not sponsored by Target, but we would love to be because Target is our favorite store. Um, as you can see, I cut off the seam at the bottom of the bag. And now I'm cutting off the handles, which creates a nice little plastic loop which I will open up a little bit and I'm going to cut out the wording on this bag which is actually a list of ideas on how you can recycle this bag however tassel making is not one of them I think Target should be adding that personally I'm cleaning up a little spot there so what I'm going to do is take the two open ends and hold them together and I'm going to fold the bag and half and now I'm going to take those open ends and fold it up about hmm, a little over half way up that bag and then I'm going to cut one inch strips starting at what looks like the top here and going down just past those open ends so I'm going to do that on both sides um, now the great thing about plastic is that if you have nice sharp, sharp scissors it just slides right through there and unlike tissue paper you're not going to tear quite so easily so you can add these tassels to um, garlands that have already been made as you can see or as you may have seen in the the beginning of the video those nice silver tassels are actually from a garland that I got from the Flare Exchange and she makes beautiful garlands, tissue paper garlands and mylar garlands and this is just a you know a fun little thing that we're gonna be doing for Earth Day to show how to upcycle some everyday household items so now I've opened up my bag, laid it out flat I have my strings or my little strands, tassel strands, hanging off each side and I'm going to roll up that center section that is still complete, whole and just keep rolling that all the way up and once I get to the end here I'm going to start twisting oh and you're going to want to kind of unfurl those tassel sides there so they don't get them untangled don't need tangled up tassels so now I'm twisting the bag kind of like how you twirl your hair almost um, that kind of motion and you're gonna go all the way across once you get that all twisted in that center section then you're going to fold your piece in half and you're gonna make yourself a loop knot so that you can hang your garland on ribbon or baker's twine and then you're finished. And I want to thank you so much for watching our first tutorial video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to stop by the blog to see more fun, creative, inspiring ideas. And subscribe here on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.